Hey everyone, it's Vu again, and welcome back to the channel. Uh, so in this channel, we talk about programming, I guess. And what channel would this be without a very generic video about what programming language you should learn? Um, that is right, there's probably a bajillion videos out there, and soon there's gonna be a bajillion and one. Let's get started. All right, so I'm gonna break it down super simple in the next 30 seconds. Okay, here we go. If you own a Mac and an Apple device, learn Swift. If you own a PC and an Android device, learn Kotlin. Unless you just really hate playing with your phone. If you really hate playing with your phone, then learn TypeScript. Unless you really hate websites, then potentially learn Go. If you really, really like math above all else and you just like visualizing charts, <laughs> then learn Python. So I was watching a couple other videos on YouTube about uh, people recommending languages to learn. There are some things I agree with and some things I disagree with. I, in my opinion, I think when learning how to program, the single most important thing when considering a language is, is the language fun? This becomes like a hundred times more important if you're trying to learn programming by yourself. If a programming language isn't fun for you or achieve, uh, allows you to uh, be entertained while, while learning, then you're probably not gonna learn and you're probably gonna give it up. Other YouTube channels I see, they go into this breakdown about, oh, what's the job market? Um, what's, what's like the features of this programming language? None of that matters. The only thing that matters is if it's fun. So that follows into the next question, like how can a programming language be fun versus not fun, right? This really varies and depends on, you know, the personality and the experience of the, the programmer and the person going into it. If you're somebody that gets a lot of enjoyment out of sharing something or getting immediate results, then a programming language that allows you to create something visible very easily that you can interact with generally is going to be way more fun than not, right? So let's take two programming languages on the other side, uh, on both sides of the spectrum, right? So on one hand, you have something like, let's say Swift um, with iOS. In probably an hour or so, you can get started with a tutorial and then build an iPhone app onto your phone where you could probably do something super simple. You hit a button and then it makes like a noise or something like that. That was like the first app that I ever made actually like, you know, those fart apps back in the day, but I digress. That enables you to build something on your phone and immediately show it to your friends, your family, uh, whoever, um, and really impress them, right? And then get a lot of positive reinforcement uh, along the way um, to continue your journey. On the other hand, you have something like C, okay? C is a great programming language. I, I love C but I wouldn't recommend that as your first programming language because you're probably gonna spend two hours just trying to figure out how to compile it. And by the end of that, you might be able to print hello. Like that, that's all you're able to do. Is that fun? No, not really. That being said, I have met some people, some very strange people who when they started programming, they just fell in love with C. These are strange people, okay? I don't mean to diss you if you're one of those people, but you know it. You know it if you love C, you know you're weird. Anyways, those people are probably not you watching this video. I'd say like maybe only one out of a thousand people uh, where they start programming will tend to gravitate to lower level, uh, more difficult programming languages to learn. So if the fun factor is like 90% of the reason why you should choose a programming language or not, what is like the other 10%. The other 10% is really picking a language that can easily be translated to learning additional languages, right? So when a programmer says they're able to write in like five, six languages, it's not really the same as learning like Spanish and then speaking French. It's, it's way easier to be able to pick up multiple programming languages than it is uh, multiple spoken languages. But the analogy, is sort of similar, right? You know how in high school, Spanish is a really popular language? Uh, one, because you know there's a lot of Spanish speakers out there, but two, because learning Spanish enables you to more easily learn other romance languages, right? So if you learn Spanish, 
Um, you know, it might be easier to learn French down the road, Italian, Portuguese, etc. The same sort of analogy carries with programming languages. If you learn a programming language that has a lot of relationships to other languages, then in the future, it's going to be a lot easier to learn those other ones. And also, with more speakers of the language, um, you're able to get more support and also more opportunities in the job market. That's why sometimes I'm not quite sure whether or not to recommend Python as a beginner language. Don't get me wrong, like Python's really powerful. I do like Python, it has a place in its time. It has a huge, huge um, support in uh, ML, uh, machine learning, and, and data and all that stuff. So if you're interested in ML and, and, and data processing, definitely uh, learn Python. But the problem with Python is it's a very unique language and it's very different uh, syntactically, how you write it, uh, the thinking structure behind it. On the other hand, the language that I probably recommend the most, if you have access to the tools uh, and the machine, is Swift because Swift is just as fast to write uh, as Python. Uh, however, it's typed, it's compiled. People really need mobile iOS and Android engineers, right? So if it's the one language I would recommend, it's Swift. It doesn't really have that many downsides to learn besides that you have to own a Mac computer. And if you don't own a Mac and you have a PC, Android is just fine. Uh, just bang out Kotlin. Kotlin is very, very similar uh, to Swift. Uh, if, you, you, if you don't like either of those, like if you don't like mobile programming, then do TypeScript. Um, in the past, I recommended JavaScript, but the problem with JavaScript is it just introduces so many bad habits. Um, it's, it's, JavaScript is like being teleported back to like the 1960s and then you're in the wild west of programming. There are just like no rules. It's complete anarchy. And that structure is, it's really cool to like do a lot of things, but you're just never sure if you're doing, ever doing the right things with JavaScript. So would not recommend. And then um, if you think you might be going into backend programming, uh, Java is great. And Go is really great. I really love the, the Go programming language. So anyways, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like it, thumbs up on it, and subscribe to the video for more videos.